So here we are, log four of the BMW M3. Next instalment. Yeah. Ash is spending some more money. So yeah, we've got some more money to spend. This time we're having a very important job done. We're having the subframe reinforced. And whilst it's out, we're going to put poly bushes in the rear end. Um, so basically, we like a new car, hopefully. And um, the guys at ETA Motorsport are uh, looking after it for me and you know, hopefully ready to pick up um, in about a week's time. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if they discover any cracks because uh, I'm aware it's a crack free car at the moment. So we'll show time will tell. So this is like a bit from preventative maintenance, basically. Yeah, I'm doing this so it will basically future proof it so it won't crack essentially and that I can enjoy it and that a common fault is then ticked off the list uh, for things that won't go wrong I guess. Hopefully. Cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having it back. So we'll see how it goes. Whilst we're dropping Ash's car off, there is a beast of an M3 here. Full race car setup. Look at this thing. It's got a cage in the back of it. ETM Motorsport have done a cage uh, okay. as well. Awesome looking thing, aren't it? Here's a bit of a, an M3 update. So the car, I've got the car back from ETA Motorsport now after having the subframe um, strengthening place welded in. They did find two little cracks, so it was um, a worthwhile visit. Um, lucky the cracks weren't very big, but it had cracks. Uh, typical um, E46 M3. M3s mainly because of power problem, but it does happen to other E46s as well. So don't just think because you've got a free don't, don't tell me that. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's how he's, he said to me that he's done quite a few free thirties. Um, so yeah, that's sorted. While I, whilst the subframe was out, I thought it's silly putting all the old bushes and stuff back in. So it's got uh, the whole rear end now has been poly bushed in, um, in Powerflex bushes, yellows and purples, uh, and I did. I changed, um, put new rear brake lines on and braided hose on the back as well and had all the brakes bled and whatnot. Uh, so it's driving really, really, really well. Um, obviously the, the, those bushes on the back have stiffened the whole rear end up and um, it's, it's like a new car if I'm honest. Got some new rubber on there as well? Yeah, I had some new rubber fit yesterday so I've gone for a set of Mitchell Pilot Super Sports on the rears. At the moment I'm still running the original Continental M3s. But when they get low, I will be changing up Super Sports as well. The well, question everyone's going to ask, Ash, do you want to talk about costs? We can talk a bit about costs, right. So, the ETA's charged £700, or did charge £700 for just a normal subframe repair. That is their cost. Um, which I think is actually really, really cheap, considering what, they, the, what the work involved is. So they've got a basically stripped down the whole rear of the car, and you're basically just left with the floor, then they've got a grind back all the, take away all the dirt and then grind back, drill the, um, the cracks, re-weld the cracks, weld all the plates over and treat it all again and put it all back together. So yeah, they did a cracking job, I would recommend them. The car is being detailed, so after all this work underneath the car and under the bonnet and whatnot and getting it mechanically how I'm happy with, I thought well the summer's coming up, it's a good time to get it detailed looking nice, so I've got um, Reflections car detailing um, in today and doing a good job on it. I'm expecting it to look very mint actually because it, it's neat. it does need it, especially those tail, those exhaust pipes, they are disgusting. It really lets the car down, which is a shame really. This is um, tar, tar remover. Tar remover. You can see it there, it's starting to run, yeah. It does look nice clean, doesn't it? It's good. 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 The bit that Ash is most excited about these bits. I tell you what, they've even slides so clean already. He's obviously sprayed to make work. Look at all the tar here. All that tar that I've never seen before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just all melting away. Stuff here as well. I don't know what this is. If you find anything wrong with it, don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's been here for a good nine hours. So he's an absolutely amazing job. So he's had a full three-stage correction. Um, the leather's been cleaned and treated, all plastics and bits like that. We've done engine bay, engine pressure bay. washed out. Yeah. Pretty spanking. All the exhaust tips are looking good. That was the main point major that I was looking forward to. 
obviously because being silver grey the exhaust tips don't really stand out really but they do, they, they pop now, it's good. And no, yeah, I'm really impressed and um, reflections detailed in, I've done an amazing job, I would recommend them. Um, grand total price. A grand total price of £200, which to be fair, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of money for essentially washing a car, but it, it won't need to be done again, I'll be able to keep on top of it. The taken out all any burn. Yeah, and all the blemishes are gone, and it doesn't look like a 12 year old car now, does it? Let's face it. So, it's probably better than it come out of the factory somehow. Yeah, no, I'm happy with it. It's an amazing job. Thumbs up, Dave. So, Ash, what's next then for the M3 Saga? Well, I think really the only thing I can really do with that Mark, is to get and drive it and learn I to think drive it's about it. Especially now, with the, especially the weather now, it's turning. I've got loads of rubber. We're just going to burn some. So, I'm having fun. Then, uh, Stay tuned. Yeah. See you soon. Not bad for a 12 year old car, eh?